Sculpture is what's important to me because of what it actually is. You know, because it's real and because it's really here. So it's its physicality that matters. You know, a painting is also real. But traditionally, I suppose a, a painting isn't exactly supposed to be here. It's supposed to take us elsewhere, so it's an escape. And traditionally, sculpture is the opposite of that. You know, it's absolutely rooted in the world. But I would hope, though, that what my work can prove is that that doesn't mean that it's any less of an escape. Any sort of um, physical engulfment by or absorption in material reality can be more of an escape than the optical cerebral one offered by say representational painting or the narrative storytelling of, of language. I think to me that sort of um, physical engulfment or absorption in the material world is actually the most uh, complete freedom that can be felt. It's not so much of the imagination as it is of the body. So it doesn't involve just thinking. It involves actually, you know, doing something or behaving, either, you know, in or with the material world. You know, I think about art in general as a place a place to behave. I think of it as a, a sort of boxed off little bit of civilised society where permission is given for us to sort of freely behave like the animals we are. Um, and I suppose I feel that freedom through this sort of loose material sculpture that I make. But I hope that that's not just for me to feel, but it's for anyone who is in the room with it and I suppose I you know I always hope you know at least for an impetus towards physical response.